Well, Travel and Leisure Magazine, yes, ranks Cleveland as one of the best cities for foodies. We it's knew that. about time. Yeah, we knew it. They, just, yeah. they finally got on board. That's why uh, there are so many great restaurants and flavors to try. The list can kind of feel overwhelming. Luckily, Cleveland Magazine did the homework for you so you know where to eat next. And Dylan Stewart, editor of Cleveland Magazine, joining us now, breaking down Cleveland's best restaurants and so I was looking at the list of great ones on there oh already. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah, so good. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, we, uh, you know, exactly what you uh, were mentioning. We want to help you experience all that Cleveland's food scene has to offer. So this year we did a big swing. We um, expanded our list of 25 to 34 oh, best cool. restaurants. Wow. We added 10 to the list. Um, there were so many new restaurants, we just had to get them on here. Here you see uh, Chef Vinny Cimino. He is the uh, executive chef at Cordelia on oh, East yeah. 4th oh, yeah. Street. I've heard and great um, things. that's our uh, reader voted best new restaurant. We also have a reader voted list. And um, and we wanted to take you inside these kitchens. You know, these, um, these restaurants are really extensions of the people who cook the food and so we wanted you to meet them and and learn about their inspiration this year. Kind of what? like their background and what yeah. they do, exactly. their, their thoughts on food and the whole process. Exactly and Vinny here for example um, you know he has really um, gone from Greenhouse Tavern um, he was the executive chef there to uh, now the former Lola Bistro space so mm. you know really hollowed ground over there on East 4th Street. Yeah. Well it's I, what I love too is it's a great guide you really get to know the whole reasoning behind even just the interior, the design, mm -hmm. how they're making it so different. I've been at Zaja, which I'm just oh, yeah. loving so much. Yeah, and they're going to be opening their patio too soon. Yeah. Um, and I was telling friends about the whole thing with the design. It's not your average steakhouse. Blah, blah. And they're like, how did you know all this? I go, well, in Cleveland Magazine. <laughs> this, I do love that because yeah. then when you go there, you appreciate what the whole atmosphere is about, what's behind all the different steaks that they have. All like, and It's a great way. You guys did it too a couple of years ago when Bartleby opened. So mm -hmm. you like really get to know the whole thing is what the restaurant was born about, what makes it different and yeah. unique, and it's a great idea. All right, so we're going to put up, uh, so what, these are some of the new ones, and these are your top five. Yeah, right? these, are, these are my uh, maybe personal top five. You know, Cordelia, we mentioned, yeah. um, you're going to get sort of that mix of Midwestern food and Deep South. Um, then I, I would take you over to Sense Pizza. Oh, it's so um, good. We really swing above our weight here um, with pizza. Yeah, you know, we, it's, uh, we have three pizza places now on the, the best restaurant list, wow. which a couple years ago, would have seemed crazy, but Vincent Morelli, he does an amazing job. He comes from Roberta's in Brooklyn um, mm. over here to kind of bring that New York style, mm -hmm. but it's it's fun, it's exciting, and he's actually expanding with a deli and a um, fashion forward lifestyle store. Oh, wow. Um, so that's really wow. great. You mentioned Jaja, yeah, it's, it's so otherworldly to walk in there. You know, you, you can't really find it at first, and then you get there, yeah. and it's just like a whole new world opens up. Argentinian Steakhouse, but you're also going to find some lighter, more veggie forward yes. uh, things on the app. Appetizer menu, very very shareable. Um, that that's a that's a really fun one. And then Aaliyah is really cool too. They open right around the pandemic, and it's a 33 seat restaurant from Athens Zarnas who. Um, it really all centers around this live fire grill and everything has that smoke. I ate broccolini, I'm kind of a meat and potatoes guy, yeah. but they have this broccolini that where you can just taste the smoke oh. and it's with a nice light um, creamy sauce and they change seasonally and they, they kind of really built a loyal um, but steady following coming out of the pandemic. They yeah. had some closures and they're small and mighty but really great. And then finally, I'm sending you to Lakewood to Rude Food and Pie, which has been around yeah, for a little while. So yeah. But about a year ago, they got a new chef, Rochelle Murphy, and she's 24 years old, total wonderkin. And wow. she is launching these seasonal menus every month. And, and you'll get something from a heavy pasta dish to a salad. Again, I said meat and potatoes. Right. I was blown away by the textures and the colors in her salads. Only 24 years old, and she's already been on wow. Guy's Grocery Games, and um, she trained uh, with some Netflix uh, foodie stars. So really? really, you gotta get over there and experience, and you can't miss the pie. Well, this is a must-read issue. Also, yeah. I love you guys always do Best of the East, Best of the yes. West. Those restaurants, too, it's a fantastic guide to just eat your way around the east, west, downtown, south, everywhere. Yes. So good. Thank Congratulations so on baby Lennon. Oh, thank yeah. you. Thank you. The new baby. Uh, hi, Lennon, if you're watching at home. Oh. I can't live up to Miss Rachel, but, you know, we'll see what I can do. <laughs> Thanks, Dylan. Good to see you. Thank you very That's much. Awesome. Go pick up uh, Cleveland Magazine. We'll check